hello students welcome back to engineers academy do hit the subscribe button if you haven't done it yet now we are going to solve this problem from vector mechanics for engineers by bear and johnston and the problem says that determine the x and y components of each of the forces shown so we are given these three forces and we are asked to find the horizontal and vertical components of these three forces along the x and y direction along the x and y axis so first of all we are given this 60 pound force and it is making 25 degree with the x axis so we need to find its component so it will have two components one of its components is going to act along the x axis and it will have one component along the y axis so let's say this is a 60 pound force let's see and this is making 25 degrees so this is 60 pound force and let's say this is f1 so it is making 25 degrees and it will have one component this component will be the f of x component this is f of x this is our positive x and positive y axis so now the f of x is we know that the component the angle is made with the f of x so the f of x will be the cost component so we can say that f of x is f1 cos of 60 and similarly the f of y the vertical component will be in this direction remember that the direction of the components will always be along the direction of the uh, uh, along the along the force right so this is the gi the given force is this this is f of 1 and these are the components f of x and this is f of y these are the components of this f1 so f1 is going from from uh, from left to right like this so f of x is going from left to right and if if we look into this f1 so it is going from bottom to top so this is going like this so for the f of x must be acting in this and f of y must be acting in this direction or we can say that the the arrowheads must be along the main vector whose component are f of x and y are the components of this f of one so the f of x cannot be in this direction or we can we cannot draw f of y in this direction remember and one thing we must know that if we aid these two components this f of x and this f of y they must give as this f of 1 since these these are the the f of 1 is the parent of f of x and f of y and f of x and f of y are the the components or we can say that the children of uh, this f of 1 so now the f of x is the angle is made with f of x so this is the f1 cause of 60 and similarly the the f of y will be f1 sine of 25 degrees so now we can say that for f1 equals to 60 pound f of x is f1 now f1 is 60 cause of 25 degree and similarly f of y is 60 sine of 25 degrees so 60 cause of 25 this is f of x is 54.38 uh, pounds approximately and similarly this is sine of 25 this is 25.36 approximately so f of y is 25.36 pounds similarly we are given this uh, 40 pound force and again it is making 60 degree with the x axis so now let's draw that And this is now the 40 newton force it is making 60 degrees with the horizontal or with the x-axis let's say this 40 pound force is let's say f2 this is 40 pounds so now again it will have f of x and f of y components so this will be the f of x component the red one and this one will be the 
f of y component of this f2 this red one is f of x for f2 and this will be again the angle is made with this f of x component now the angle is made with this component so again this one will be the cost component so we can say that f of x will be f2 cos of the angle so the angle is 60 degrees so f2 cos of 60 and this one will be the y component so this one will be f2 sine of 60. So now we can say that for f2 equals to 40 pounds the f of x is f2 that is 40 cos of 60 and f y will be 40 sine of 60. So now the f of x is 40 cos of 60 so this is 20 pounds and 40 sine of 60 this is 34.64 approximately so f of y is 34.64 pounds now we are given the third force which has a magnitude of uh, 50 pounds so it is making 50 degrees with the y axis here. so now let's represent that force let me show that force now let me erase all these we are given that 50 pound force like this and it, let's say this uh, 50 pound force is let's say f3 so this is 50 pounds and it is making 50 degrees uh, with the vertical so now again it will have two components uh, one component is going to act in this direction so this company is now acting along the y-axis so this one will be the f of y and one component must be acting in this direction since this f3 is acting from uh, right to left so this f of x component must be acting from right to left and since this f3 is from from top to bottom like this from top to bottom so f of y must be in this direction so now this is f of x for f3 now the angle is made with f of y now the angle is made with f of y so the f of y will be the cost component remember so now we will write that f of y is f3 cos of 50 and similarly f of x will be f3 sine of 50 so now we can write that for f3 equals to 50 pounds f of x is f3 sine of 50 this f3 sine of 50 so f3 is 50 sine of 50 and f of y is since the angle is made with f of y so the, it is the cost component so this will be 50 cos of 50 so 50 sine of 50 f of x is 38.30 pounds and f of y is 50 cos of 50 so that is sorry this is 50 cos of 50 so this is 32.14 approximately so 32.14 pounds so this is how we can find the f of x and f of y components of a given force and the summary is that the component with which the angle is made is always the cost component so now we have determined the f of x and f of y components of each of these three forces so uh, we need to we need to show the direction of uh, these components as well so this is f of 1 and its components are along this along the positive x and along the positive y so both the components of f of x are positive this is plus and plus similarly the f of 2 uh, the f2 is 40 pounds it is acting in this direction uh, so it's come one of its component is in this direction uh, uh, f of x is in positive x and f of y is in the negative y direction so then we have to write that the for f2 the f of x component is positive and the f of y is negative so now we can show 
the plus and minus sign so the plus and minus sign tells us the exact direction sometimes we show the direction like this we 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 draw the small arrows with the magnitudes so the uh, the f of x component of f2 is plus 20 pounds and then the f of y component of f2 is um, minus it is in the negative y and similarly the f of x and f of y components of f3 are both negative this is f3 and its component is f of x component is in the negative x and f of y component is in the negative y so now we can say that this is negative and this is negative uh, or we can say that f of x is uh, 38.30 pound and we can represent the direction like this and f of y is 32.14 and uh, like this so this is the solution of this particular problem from vector mechanics by bear and johnston like uh, like this video and subscribe my channel if you think that this video uh, helps in your learning